So, mentally letting go is, I'm sure you, in being in this group, you all know this, is to find some form of silence, to meditate, right? But then, the opposite of finding silence, which is to make noise, is also a way of letting go. And this I learned from this, well, it's funny that he's now silent, you know, but... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm a father of four children, and three of them are, are like adolescents, you know, 18, 16, and 13. From one of them is the title of my new book, Daddy, You Really Don't Understand Anything, Do You? Right? Because that's what she said to me, and this is what I get from them. So, for my older kids, I get to lose my ego over and over and over <laughs> and over and over again, you know? Like, and there's always some ego left, so I can lose it even more. But from this little boy, you know, th this, this age, he's like, if, if he's sleepy, he's going to sleep. If he feels sad, he's going to cry. If he's happy, he's shouting. You know, uh, if he needs help, he, he's asking for it. And if he wants to give you help, he's helping everybody around you. What I'm saying is, he allows himself, without any form of shame, to express himself. To show himself. You know, and that is really nice. So, and that is what I mean with, you know, finding silence. Fine, that's cool. I meditate every day. And meditation or finding some form of silence is very healthy for your body, for your mind, and thus for your body. But finding noise, you know, making noise is as important. So making noises, expressing yourself is as important as finding silence. So that's the mentally letting go. Silence, noise, both important.